Thickening. That's right. We got the 13 blades of the, the legendary holy blades, but I think it's like 13 mouths and there's like, like, like an offset. I actually don't know. I think there's like a difference in the sword count and the fact that Sha Chastil has been kind of like banished. I hope that she comes with us. The Cerulean Knights, they're funny as hell. But then there's like this like legendary sword master that's going to come after Chastil to kill her potentially. Also, we have a dragon lolly daughter. Now, a lot of people got mad saying, this is not a slave. This is not a plantation. No fucking shit. When you read a title, the whole point is to make you upset, to feel a certain way, to make you engage. Don't take YouTube titles too seriously. Let's begin today's reaction. This is the trickiest thing with this show because it says Veil for. I could even call it Vale for. But what does she say? Waterfore. What part of V does there a W exist? Waterfore. I. How, how, what, else, what am I supposed to call it? Waterfore. Why not just fucking add another V in front of the fucking letter to just make it easier? God fucking damn it. Nephi. she been drawing? <laughs> this is her journal? I get praised. Oh, she looks getting praised by Nephi. What about by Zagan? Yeah, this relationship is uh, What are they? They are. Because <laughs> this motherfucker doesn't sleep. He doesn't have a bed. Sorry, he doesn't have a bed to sleep in. He just sleeps in his fucking chair. I can't believe he just sits here the entire like time that he's been living here. So she just shows up in the morning. Hello. Ohio. She just kind of sent him for Zagan. I maybe fucked up, but I feel like the ears twitching is the same thing as like a dude getting a boner. What? The day? We're going on a date? Is there a promise we made? Waterford is very cute. <laughs> I don't understand why she sits on his lap. Good question, right? It's like, doesn't that look kind of uncomfortable? Like, why would she sit on his lap? Good question, kid. You're a little too, you're too young. I mean, she's old as fuck, probably, right? But you're too young to understand. Don't worry. Before... I see. I see. So, before we didn't have Waterford. The awkward romantic moments like this where he wants to pet the head but doesn't happen, right? It's just kind of absurd by us. But now that we have the dragon lolly who's like basically us but narrating the entire thing. she And the fact that she doesn't understand why he feels you know nervous or like awkward or kind of scared to like, you know, pat her head. It just makes it even funnier and cuter. Go for it. <laughs> She's like, come on, pet me, come on. How dare you disturb our little date? Does, yeah, does this count as a kid walking on their parents? I don't, I don't understand. Like, did she just walk in on them? Well, they're not, you know, making love, but she was sitting on his lap and he was like, with a pet her head and he kind of just ruined this. So it's like the very vanilla light version of walking on your parents. <laughs> Too cute. I found a dragon. I guess she's my daughter now. <laughs> Is this cunny? Is this cunny? Whenever she misbehaves, she needs to get corrected. Is that the right lingo? It's like a little cat hoodie. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Dress up the other girls and do fan service because Zagan can't do it. We need to have Nephi go there and try up the new clothing, man. Oh, that's why we're trying to cover her dragon like a aesthetic, right? <gasps> Alright. Her uh, dragon horns are now disguised. She doesn't have to. Mama? Papa? It's a feeling of a family. Okay, I'm I, I, I'm glad that it's different from you how you care for a nephew because like it, if it was the same I'll be fucking worried nephew's like a wife, right? You got you're romantically interested and what for is a daughter that you want to protect Bacana, 
<laughs> I wonder if people are like, wait, what the fuck? How did the, what, when did they get a kid so fucking early? What? That's because all the people are aware of Nephi in this town, right? Who's this? Chastil. No more gear. What's she gonna do? Chastil can be babysitter when Nephi and Zagan's out and someone has to look for a water for. How is Chastil gonna get incorporated into her family? Maybe she just does. I hope that she comes over. She has nowhere to go now, right? Between the two of them. She what? She wants to get cooked? <laughs> See? She pretty much is like a godmother or like a babysitter or like an auntie type. I don't know. She's even thinking about them having a kid, bro. Look at that. Little Zaga Nephi. What the fuck is that grave? What? <laughs> In her fantasy? Where they have a nice family? She's dead? This is beyond cuckoldry. She's just dead. They're like, I wish you're gonna meet me in my fucking grave when you're so happy with your kids. Because she's a, she's scared that like the other swordmaster is gonna show up and kill her, right? Well, Zagan is also not... I, I, Nephi's lifespan is different. And it's Zagan. But like, I thought Zagan is pretty much the same. And like, isn't gonna live as long as Nephi. Anyways, I thought that this is gonna be like shit. When the Swordmaster comes for me, he kills me. I hope you'll come to my grave kind of deal. Arc demons live a millennium? Really? I thought he was like a regular human, but no. This got a kid. Yeah. What do you think, Chastil? New kid. Kind of, yes. What are you to us? He's trying to kill us before. <laughs> he doesn't remember? Wait, he doesn't actually remember Chastil at all? After she like put her life on the line and sacrificed everything she had to protect him? This is even more cruel. <laughs> yeah, she does have a different outfit, right? The hairstyle's different too, but like, god damn. I quit my job. I used to shit on these three, but I honestly like these three a lot. They're very fun, comedic relief, and I don't know, they, they got good hearts. The three Cerulean nerds. <laughs> At least he got the Cerulean part right this time. Oh, Val. Oh, whoa, 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 chill. She hates the knights? I guess she's been hunted by those knights before? I don't know. Damn, that part's a transformation, though. Kravowell? Who's this one? Cardinal Kravwe? He's the Pope? Got it. The Pope summoning her again? The fuck? I just want Chastil to come live with us too, man. I guess she's encountered a bunch of shitty knights in the past. That's a flag. Something's definitely gonna happen if he said that. This is Marcosias. All underground. She likes this? Marcosias used to have dragons around in his mansion. Okay. Let's just raid Marcosias' mansion. Great. Well, we have the Art Demon Sigil now. Oh, look at that little pinch on Zagan's sleeve, bro. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, oh the hand holding. Ew. It's not gonna activate, right? It's not gonna activate, right? Okay. Kinda wanted to activate it. And then, wouldn't it be funny if the golem had like a mind of its own, but it was actually kinda like cute and it was acting as her bodyguard back home at our mansion? I don't know. I just wanna like decorate our placement. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a flag, that's a flag, okay. If they're gonna fucking zoom in like this, like, like, if you're gonna tell me what's that activated, but then the cameraman zooms in like this, like, yeah, this is gonna happen. Come on now, you're not even trying to be discreet. <laughs> Proud little smile, dude. <laughs> she was like, yep, I deserve a head pat. Come on, give it to me. Award me. Yep, yep, I'm taking that head pat. <laughs> she looks so proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart! This is too Cooney! I just call it Cooney instead of Cunny. For another head pat, that is. What? Are we giving. What? What? Wallow for too much attention? What? what? I don't understand. What? 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 Yeah, yeah, head pat. Head pat. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking so imposing for a head pat, bro? Oh! How can 
gonna hit that be so fucking lewd, bro? Her ear- It's her ears! Like, there's something about her ears just twitching constantly while he head pats her that makes it lewd. Jealousy? Just a little bit. Yeah, they need to censor those fucking ears when they start twitching, man. Okay, I think I'm just gonna call her four. Candles are lighting by itself? Wait, is this a boss room? No. Library. Just a huge library of knowledge? What are we doing? Maybe we're gonna learn more about that demon that we summoned before against the Brabatos fight. They talked about that last episode a little bit. No, if he could, then he wouldn't be so awkward around Nephi. I mean, it's just a feel. It's just a vibe. <laughs> we want more headpads too, what? Yeah? One-thousand-year-old family incoming? Forever and ever, please don't leave me! Thought Nephi would be jealous again. Nice one! What? Okay, so we have a distinction between sorcerers and like the church and the holy people, right? And the Archdemon's Crest has some same writing, the same source as these things on the holy blades. What? Lore. Lore. What is this hinting at us? That both come from the same source. Then why are we split into two factions, kind of like at war against each other? What the fuck is going on? Did, did the church intensely do this? Did it originate? Exactly, that's another thing to the offset, right? There's 12 swords, but 13 arc demons. What does that mean? Why is there one missing? Or is there not missing, but rather one extra arc demon? I just can't really piece it together right now, but the plot is thickening. You there's that Pope again looking sussy. And he's the nice looking Pope too, right? Oh shit. Damn. Yo, who gave him the who gave him the fucking scar? Okay, I thought he would be like, I'll kill you for losing your status, but he approves? His voice actor is super deep. I like it. Is it really that strong? Like, they're hyping this dude up? Is it just so that there's gonna be a power fantasy moment when Zagan one-shots him? Or is he gonna be able to compete against Zagan as an arc demon? He killed the most amount of sorcerers, so I'm gonna assume that he's pretty OP. So humble. You guys are fucking meat shield, like that's serious. I thought it was humble because she said, like, you know, the amount I've killed doesn't really matter, but... Wait! No. Trying to kill him. You know what? Okay, okay. Immediately, he says, I have no business with a bureaucrat like you. Makes me kind of like this guy. I think he might be... We, we are going into thinking that he might be a villain. But we know that the Pope, the church, the politics behind, they're the villains. And if he's shitting on them, he just misunderstood so far maybe we could be friends imagine the future where he's like petting four in the head like grandpa and like granddaughter kind of deal right imagine how cute that would be the gap moe of a super strong big burly dude like this be like oh little dragon girl you know like there's potential <laughs> What does he want? Oh, it's pretty much useless until Chastil dies. <laughs> chill, 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 chill! Or give the sword back. This is my favorite soundtrack in this anime. No, you be vigilantes. You be heroes sometimes. Oh? <laughs> He said the classic line. Omoshiroi, dude. <laughs> you better give her the sword. That's what he's trying to make him do, right? 
Raphael. What is his name? Raphael? Was it? Was it? Fuck! It's Raphael, right? This guy, he's a uh, tough around the edges, but I think he means well. He seems a little mean, and obviously he comes off cold and brutal. But within, there's a genuine heart. Raphael shoot on doll or something. All right. Can we get our armor back too, please? Okay, the sword is back to Chastil. He just leaves. Yeah, he's a good person. Yeah, he was helping. Yeah, but why? Wonder. Well, he still kills sorcerers. He's. It's. It's. But there again, there's a lot of shitty sorcerers too, right? It's not like all the church people are bad. It's not like all the sorcerers are bad. But there is a lot of shitty sorcerers that does uh, try to attain power no matter what cost. You can sacrifice and stuff. So him killing sorcerers, maybe it is justified. I'm just trying to understand, like, how much of the truth does he know of this world, right? Why would he try to get Chastile to uh, get her sword back? to further his own goals is he just a good person I, I i don't know i feel like he might know a lot more that goes on behind the scenes <laughs> barbatos <laughs> sorry daughter barbatos also i wonder who that letter was from from Chastio. <laughs> did he just say the only joke is your face <laughs> And that slipped past me. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you just say that kind of funny? He's a good looking dude. Zakhan's a good looking dude. What do you mean he's a joke? Like, both Barbatos and Zakhan are good looking dudes. It's like, it's not a joke. That is the deal, right? We can be friends again if he treats us to the nicest of alcohol. That's right. She was operating under a different name, right? Oh, no. I want to meet Gremory. She's a man hater. Gremory. No, no that, that's the one of the girls that we saw in the earlier episode. And every time she showed up, I'm like, oh my god. She's a man hater, though? Yuri. Gremory and Nephi. Are we setting that up? Gremory and Nephi, Yuri to make Zagan jealous? Is, is that where they're going with Gremory? Oh, got it. Yeah, giant guy in the mask for sure. Nope, we treated her to nice food, got her new clothing. Damn, even with the armor in disguise, people still thought he was a dragon. Uh, she's a dragon. <laughs> and we can't really disclose to the public that she's a dragon, huh? Raphael, 499. Who's the 500th gonna be? Oh man, that's a monumental milestone, man. The 5 I'm sure he's planning something special for it too. Maybe it's gonna be Mao Zagan, but I doubt it. We'll definitely fight, right? I would love to see a fight, but not gonna kill Zagan. Will there ever be a 500th death? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he killed just like really a bunch of weak sorcerers. This is true. We have a. Re Maybe we don't wait. We go to Raphael and fuck him up in order to protect their daughter. Maybe he starts trying to threaten, you know, for something. Oh, wait. Instead of like getting upset because her wife is in danger. How about getting upset because her daughter's in danger? Oh, man. Oh, the other day when I fucked you up. <laughs> Power? Also, remember the golem back at the mansion. He's just being honest. No, I think he just trusts Zagan so much that he's willing to be just shamelessly honest in front of him. It's not that he's stupid. I don't know. I just feel like he's just shamelessly being honest and just being like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not, bro? You know me. Raphael! Bald! Bald! Raphael! I had a fight already. I feel like cliffhanger coming, man. I feel like cliffhanger coming, man. Ah, oh, shit. 
He's huge, yeah. Deep voice acting. Probably some... Like, what if it's like Marcosias that gave him this scar? How did Marcosias even pass away? Do we know that? Wait, wait, wait. Do we even know how the previous Demon Lord... It just age? I... Was it... It's just old age. Is this confirmed in the manga? I don't really want spoilers, but if it's as old as... Because I'm like... Oh, yeah. He was like super, super old, right? He like lived like a thousand. I'm just wondering like at what point did like maybe this dude fought like a Mao and then got the scar. That kind of makes sense, right? Oh. A dragon gave it to him. The dragon that he ate gave... Well, it's still like legend, right? We don't really know if he ate a dragon or not. It's just kind of assumptions. It's like a legend. But a dragon may have gave him the scar. Yeah, he's right behind us right now, bro. Yeah, it could be related to like forest parents. Imagine. You want to drink, old man? You want to... Oh, why is his eyes lasering? Man, I hope that GG over here is not here to fight, but more here to just like have a drink. Is it? too early to have a fight i'm not sure does he even know who zagan even is right now because like i think a funny way to handle this is to have our first interaction where he's just here to have a nice drink he just realizes like that they're serving them like top shelf alcohol and we'll have a nice drink and we'll just kind of like go away but then later they realize that oh shit that was zagan and then he'll fight i don't know maybe it's just gonna be a bar fight i don't know but this is looking pretty hype what was the point of today's episode there was a lot of fucking cunny moments, man. Oh my god. We thought that Nephi fan service, you know, with Zagan was already so cute. Now we have a daughter. Four is just adding more just blood glucose levels into my fucking system. I'm getting diabetes, man. I am getting diabetes. It is way too wholesome how she keeps wanting to be praised and want head pads. And then there was some other stuff when we went to Marco Cias's castle. I really underestimated the significance of this demon. They haven't thrown his name around along, but... It's like, he has like the answers to everything, or at least his mansion does. And there's a lot of different stuff here. There's like a golem that could activate in the future. The cameraman was being very sussy. There's the book about the 12, you know, sacred swords that somehow... The source of those swords, the written whatever magic stuff there, aligns with the Arc Demon Crest. 13 Arc Demons, 12 swords, what's with the offset? Not enough details for me to really make a guess, but clearly there is a connection because it all just goes back to the same source. And Raphael, he's an interesting character that seems to operate by his own terms. Even though he does kill sorcerers and maybe they do deserve to die, I don't think he's really a dog of the church. The way that he shit on the Pope saying you're just bureaucrats makes me feel like he is able to form his own opinions and maybe if he learns of whatever the truth there may be behind the church and the demon the arc demons and the sorcerers maybe there could be an ally maybe there's a future where this dude can pat four and we could have like a wholesome grandpa and a granddaughter moment but if he really did eat a dragon and if it maybe relates to four's parents oh oh i'm not so sure of that anymore and that's it for me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.